Yo, bloody actor here, guys, and welcome back to yet another episode of Kenyan Gaming Setups. And uh, as usual, keep your negative comments away from the comment section because I'm here to showcase what you guys are rocking. Now, guys, remember to share these videos, hit the like button, share these videos with everyone and anyone. Remember, it's not only gamers who are interested in watching these videos, but other people tend to be interested as well. Now, today I'm over at Zach Rabin's place. Uh, we know each other from Discord. This is the first time we are meeting and uh, those on the what were gaming remember to join my discord and also join the what were gaming discord which has over like 1500 members so yeah your fellow gamers wako huko and uh, yeah let's go check his setup out Yeah, guys, so as you can see, I'm already in his room and uh, taking a look, look at his setup here. As you can see, we have a black theme going on. Fancy schmancy equipment here and there. This guy also has a PS5, the first uh, PS5 in this setup series. Overall, I like the setup. Looks really nice, looks really clean. And uh, yeah. For the PC case, he's rocking the Fractal Design Define 780X Mid Tower case. Now this case does not come with any form of glass or plastic side panels so you won't be able to see the insides of your PC. As you can obviously tell this is quite a huge case so it's good for these newer RTX cards that are very big. Inside the case we have an AMD Ryzen 5 which is uh, the 5600X which is a 6 core 12 thread processor. And uh, yeah, these six cores from AMD are very popular. They seem to be offering the bang for the buck. Cooling this CPU, we have the Noctua NHD 15, which is quite a humongous cooler, as you can obviously tell. This cooler is so big that it was hindering me from filming uh, the RAM slots. And speaking of RAM, uh, this guy is rocking the Corsair Vengeance LPX 32GB kit. This is uh, two 16 DIMMs, uh, which is DDR4 clocked at 3200 megahertz. And again, the version of the memory here is the CL16 DDR4 kit for his GPU. And I think uh, we are going to be seeing less of these ones. This is the EVGA XC3 Ultra Gaming GeForce RTX 3070, which is, has um, a VRAM of 8 gigabytes. Now obviously if you're in the PC world or if you're knowledgeable with the PC world you do know that EVGA and Nvidia head are falling out so these are one of the last graphics cards they were able to produce. For the storage um, he is using quite a number of SSDs one being the Kingston A400 240GB SATA SSD paired up with an SK Hynix Gold P3 1 one terabyte M.2 NVMe SSD paired up with yet another SK Hynix Platinum P4 2 terabyte M.2 NVMe. All of these SSDs are paired up with a Seagate Barracuda Compute 2TB 3500 RPM hard drive. Now all of this is mounted on an Acer Stuff Gaming X570 Plus Wi-Fi Edition AM4 motherboard. Powering this whole unit, we have the Corsair RM750X 750 80 Plus Gold Certified Power Supply. Heading over to his monitors there, we have uh, two LG monitors, one being the LG 27GP 850B. 27 inch 1440p 165 hertz monitor the other one being the lg 27g l838b 27 inch 1440p 144 hertz monitor both of these monitors are mounted on the popular north bayou f160 monitor mounts from shuffle pcs heading over to his keyboard there we have the razer black widow elite rgb wired gaming keyboard Paired up with yet another Razer peripheral, which is the Razer Viper Ultimate mouse. For his mousepad, he's using the Key Kitrio. This is the Kitrio Extended Gaming Mousepad, which is the large edition. For his joysticks and controllers, he has one Xbox One wireless controller, 
another xbox one x wireless controller and of course as you notice he does have a ps5 so he's also using the sony dual sense wireless controllers for his headphones there he's using yet another razor item this is uh, clearly a razor fanboy but these headphones are the razor black shark v2 headsets for his webcam there he is using a razor kio pro 1080p 60 fps webcam for his microphone this is the first entry quite a quality and premium microphone but this is the shua mv7 microphone For the chair there he's just using a generic office chair for his isp he's using the zuku 60 mbps package and the total price estimate for everything is written here as 400,000, which you know is quite pricey but uh, as you can see the system is quite nice so what do you use this setup for i'm mostly gaming and uh programming once in a while did you assemble it slowly or did you buy everything at once? I assembled it slowly. Um, this is my second upgrade. Um, yeah. Uh, where did you buy most of this stuff? I shipped most of these things um, from Amazon using Savosto. And there are a few parts that I got from Shuffle PCs. So what do you like about the setup? Well, it allows me to play 4K and 1440p comfortably. Um, I enjoy HDR gaming, especially when I'm playing these story-rich games. So it's been pretty fun. Uh, what are you planning to change? Um, not sure yet, but I think I'm good uh, with the way things are right now. Um, we'll probably get a better card for 4k 120 fps um yeah so that's that's the goal for probably in the next three years or so so your internet how is your internet connection i use zuku 60 mbps um it has been working good without any issues really zuku zuku yes. for real when you're on a lsi um well right now i think there's a problem but i I've not been gaming online as much nowadays. I just play offline single player games. Let's care, guys. That's the solution to, huh? to Zuko's <laughs> internet problems. Play offline games. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, uh, we've come to the end of the episode. Remember, if you're shopping for PC parts, PC accessories, be sure to check out Shuffle PCs. Use code 254 Millennial to get yourself a 15% discount on checkout. Also, if you want me to come, visit you or check your setup out be sure to hit me up on instagram follow me i'm bloody actor everywhere also join my discord join the what we're gaming discord server hit me up and uh, yeah i'll be sure to come to where you are of course at our coast at our Bali Bali in Nairobi. i'm still planning for some of you and uh yeah so i guess i'll see you in the next one